Why do you confess your sins? God does not forgive you because you confess. Because they were confessing for over 1,500 years before Jesus came. Nobody's sin was forgiven. God forgave all of us because of the blood of Jesus and our faith in the finished works of Christ. But confession is important because of your conscience. Because if you allow it and your conscience become hardened, your conscience will shipwreck your faith. He said, holding faith and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith, have shipwrecked their faith. And I've taught you this subject already, so I'm not going over it. If you look at the book of First John, chapter 1, verse 9, hear what the Bible said. First John 1, 9, hear what the Bible said. He said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Sins are not, forgiveness of sins does not stop here. Go to 1 John chapter 2, verse 1. See what the Bible said. He said, my little children, these things I write unto you that you sin not. He said, if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Go to verse 2. He said, he is the propitiation for our sins and not for our sins only, but the sins of the whole world. So, Jesus is playing two roles here. Number one, his propitiation for our sins and the sins of the whole world. And number two, for those of us who are in Christ, he's our advocate. So, Jesus is acting like the high priest that enters the Holy of Holies with the blood and confesses. You see that? So, even if you don't confess, Jesus' confession to God can affect your sins. And I can tell you, there are two kinds of operations of sin. There is sin by commission, there is sin by omission. Even the confession you are carrying out is the sins of commission you can confess. There are many sins you are sinning now that you don't even know. And I can assure you that there are many sins that even when you are about to die, unless God tells you that this thing is sin, you will not know. The Bible says whatever is not of faith is sin. So if you are about to die and you are afraid of death, you have sinned. So there are many sins of omission. That's why, in addition to your confession, Jesus is your advocate. And in case you think, okay, uh, that thing he's saying is different, go to verse 12. First John 2 verse 12. The Bible said, I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you, not because you confessed. Not because Jesus confessed. Your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. Because now God has included you in himself. So God forgives you because you are in Christ. This is where justification comes in. The day you accepted Christ, you were not only forgiven, but you were justified. Justification is the last thing you do in a law court. Where a man is declared free and acquitted. So that case is closed. Are you seeing that now? So why do we confess? We confess because if we don't, our conscience will be wrecked. It shows that we are reasonable. You can't hurt somebody or hurt God and then you act as if all is well. No, if you have a conscience, you can't do that. You will go back to God and acknowledge your sins. Look at the story of the prodigal son. When he returned to his father, his father didn't forgive him because he confessed. While he was coming from a distance, the father ran to him, hugged him, kissed him, gave him his sander, put his ring on him, and brought him back. He reinstated him before the boy started rehearsing what he planned. Father, I'm not worthy to be called your son. I'm a servant. Come inside and, and enjoy yourself. You think this talk you are talking is what will save you? What made me forgive you was Jesus hanging on the cross. He took death for you to be forgiven. It's not English. Don't come here with a speech. Your speech can't bring forgiveness to you. It's death. He said the wages of sin is death. If Jesus does not die, nobody will be forgiven. But confession is necessary because if you don't, it means you are not reasonable. And it means your conscience is dead. And if your conscience is dead, at, after a while, your faith will also die. It's a holding faith and a good conscience which some having put away concerning faith have shipwrecked their faith. So what I'm teaching here is not forgiveness. It's repentance. And what did the Bible teach? Is? If a man truly repents, he should confess. He should confess as a sign that he has acknowledged his sins, as a sign that he's reasonable, and as a sign that he truly, truly, truly repents from that iniquity. Thank you.